꼬리로 착륙하는 형태의 수직 이착륙 드론입니다. 미육은 차세대 지능형 군지 드론으로 GPS와 통신이 끊기는 상황에서도 스스로 작전 수행을 합니다. 이륙 후에는 운영제 없이 시작하고 복귀 후도 스스로 합니다. 지능이 스스로 드론을 조종합니다. 팀 단위로 소통하면서 작전을 수행하는데요. 서로 적의 환경과 정보를 수집하고 교환을 합니다. 그래서 한 대가 비행하면 전체가 학습하는 효과가 생깁니다. 한 개의 분대의 규모가 대대급 전투 효과를 발생한다고 합니다. 목표물을 탐지하면 1차 레이저 발사하고 2차 킬샷 합니다. 가장 큰 승리는 전투가 필요 없는 승리다. 가장 큰 승리는 전쟁에 필요가 없다. 그래서 홍보 영상을 보겠습니다. Our adversaries have countered our most strategic conventional deterrence platforms. Our aircraft and our carriers are vulnerable to missiles. Our large legacy drones are vulnerable to electronic warfare, namely GPS jamming and communications jamming. And when these things are destroyed by electronic warfare or missiles, we can't quickly rebuild or train new personnel. We need a new conventional deterrence. I think VBAT teams will transform the modern battlefield. After watching VBAT teams operate, I think a baseline test to validate with US or allied forces is that there should be operational flights proving a single human operator should be able to control a minimum of five plus aircraft. Aircraft flight paths are never plotted in advance by humans. They're always generated autonomously in real time. Dynamic read and react behaviors without a human operator input required. Outside of lethal decision making, Aircraft should be able to complete missions start to finish without an operator in the loop. The key differentiator in our autonomy capabilities and the AI that we de uh, deliver on our systems is, is the ability for the systems to operate in a resilient, intelligent manner. That is to really think for themselves, to adapt to varying conditions, to operate with or without human input, to be able to navigate conditions where communications may be degraded or denied, where external information may no longer be available. Uh, these systems still are able to operate even if they can't communicate with each other. And when they can communicate with each other, they can then progress and, and coordinate as a team. VBAT teaming enables operation in comms and GPS denied environments by using a state estimation framework that is built up without relying on GPS and instead uses shared sensor observations to build up that common operating picture and a collaborative planning framework that is built on top of that that expects communication loss. One of the exciting things about VBAT teaming is also how we're deploying the capability. We're putting our AI pilot into a payload that can go onto any VBAT coming off of our production line. So this transformational capability can be realized with a small modular payload. Every VBAT in the team gets its own AI pilot. This modular payload mounts inside of any of our latest VBAT platforms it contains an Xavier NX compute module with CPUs and GPUs to accelerate our autonomy algorithms, a carrier board to allow us to interface with the peripheral. Fundamentally, from the ground up, we've built our HiveMind architecture to scale for VBAT teams in the hundreds or thousands of VBATs. I can tell you as a former Little Bird Pilot Commander in Special Ops Aviation Regiment, VBAT teams are going to be the standard by which all other autonomous teams are going to be measured.